what's going on and welcome back and we are back at it again the GT500 but I've got some good news so man let's not delay let's get to it cue that intro Alright y'all, so I'm kind of filming this a little bit backwards. Um, <laughs> I've already done the work, I've already test drove the car, and uh, yeah, so let's go over first what all I've done since the last video, and um, you know, we'll cover how I think maybe that helped or you know, improved the situation, blah blah blah. So, uh, to go ahead and state it, um, we've got the boost pressure up. You got it to come up um, but like I said let me show you what it did and then we'll discuss where it's at and how it felt driving this is a familiar sight for you guys and for me now it's becoming very familiar <laughs> but anyway let's go over what I have done since the last video so first thing I did is I pulled all the spark plugs obviously you can't see them they're underneath that cover right there on either side pulled all the spark plugs check the gap they were all right around 35 thousandths one of them was actually around 36 thousandths um, that is about stock gap so not a really a big deal there but I did read online a lot of guys with these cars are suggesting 32 thousandths gap um, now this is all stock and I'm not sure if that really played a part in anything but I went ahead and gapped it at 32 just to eliminate that being an issue. Um, no drivability issues or anything like that. No check engine lights, nothing. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know if that helped. I don't think it's hindering, you know, now that we got more boost. But anyway, I did that. I want to cover that. Did do, did regap the spark plugs, put them back in. And they are the NGK. I think the uh, 61X, I think is what, uh, they refer to them as um, a lot of guys are running those so that's good there she's got good plugs in this car that's good moving on so the other thing that I did is this air filter was rather dirty I don't know if you could tell from the last video but man it was pretty dirty and so I removed the filter removed the mass air sensor which is this guy right here remove that clean those clean that filter up I did have to buy a sensor safe cleaner for the mass air sensor pulled it out sprayed it tried not to overdo it just wanted to kind of clean it up and uh, let it air dry then put it back in and then the air filter cleaned it really well rinsed it out really well and let it dry for like two days so i wanted to make sure all the water was out and all that this morning i re oiled it didn't go heavy you don't want to go heavy on these oil filters um, I will say that when removing the air filter before, it was heavily, heavily, heavily oiled. So do not make that mistake. Anybody out there that is trying K&N or any such filter for the first time, do not make the mistake of spraying too much oil on them because it can get heavy. And I'm thinking maybe that might have had an effect on it. I didn't notice any oil or residue or anything on the mass air sensor but the elements are super tiny and um, you know it may have had oil on it plus the air filter being heavily oiled could have contributed to not being able to pull enough air into the supercharger to create the boost that you need so or to be able to compress that air not enough air to compress to reach you know a higher psi so i'm thinking maybe that has something to do with it the mass air the filter I'm thinking those were the culprits. The plugs may or may not have helped. I don't know. But I did want to mention that that is what I did. So anyway, I do have some driving video of the car. I'm going to put that in right now. And uh, I'll be back to close this one out.
not sure if you guys can see the boost gauge or not, but uh, we just hit like eight or nine PSI. So I'm trying to catch this on film. Um, man, I think we uh, may have figured something out here. I'm gonna try to uh, get another little pull what happens all right so I just made that little pull with advanced track on and I'm going to now turn it off I don't know if you can see it but let's see advanced track is off turn that fan down a little bit and we're gonna do the same thing third gear pull that last pull was about man looked like about eight or nine psi so maybe we're getting somewhere let's see uh let's see what happens on this one and i'm gonna do it in third gear again because that's what gear i was in before i've heard that turn the advanced track off on these cars really wakes them up so we're about to find out i think Let's see what happens here. I don't know if you can see, but I got the SVT light. Apparently that means that uh, you're making some SVT power. I don't know. The, it, it means the supercharger is working. I don't know. But uh, I could hear the supercharger a little bit. And uh, we hit about eight PSI on that one as well so um we're gonna do a couple of little more pulls and uh see what happens Let's see if we can get another little pull here hopefully the wind noise is not too intrusive i'm gonna do a little second gear and see what happens supercharger I don't know if you can hear it I hope this wind noise isn't too much I'm gonna have to roll the windows back up but you can hear the supercharger I couldn't hear it before so I think we made a little bit of progress with the GT 500 which man gives me a good feeling <laughs> that uh, hopefully this is heading in the right direction all right so windows back up uh, I won't be able to hear the supercharger as much, but uh, hopefully it won't be loud for you guys, but let's see. We're gonna try another third gear pull, I believe. And I'm consistently seeing 8 PSI on the boost gauge so man I don't know if the problem is solved completely but we're definitely seeing more boost that's a good thing last time it was five maybe six on the gauge so I do think we are getting somewhere and that is good news <clears throat> but we're gonna turn around up here we're gonna make one more little pull and uh, see what she does. Oh yeah, she's feeling good now. I'm digging it, I'm digging it. that the humidity is up because it's been raining like crazy this past week sunny out today but it's uh got a good many clouds in the sky and i'm willing to bet the humidity is up so probably not the best weather but that's good um so i would expect to see you know maybe a little bit more boost in uh good weather i don't know um 
that will be determined. I will uh, get with the owner and uh, you know let them play around with it when the weather weather cools down and see what kind of uh, boost pressure they get. But uh, let me uh, let me get the car back to the house, man. We'll discuss this, and uh, we may have brought the GT500 Saga to a close. All right, so there you go, man. Eight pounds of boost. We were only pushing about five to six, maybe six, the last time I drove the car. And uh, as I said, the conditions today, I think it's probably got a lot of moisture in the air, so not ideal air, even though the temps aren't that high. But yeah, I'm pretty stoked, man. Eight pounds of boost versus five, maybe six. That's a pretty good gain, in my opinion, just from some basically regular maintenance. In my opinion oh i do want to mention one other thing i did check the intercooler pump to make sure that it was working and it is working i did verify that so that is good as well the things that i'm checking are some of the things that i've read online that could cause some type of issue with these cars as far as boost production so that's why i checked them but anyway i'm stoked man i talked to the owner they said that uh they're gonna try to come out today i want them to drive it today same conditions feel the car feel how peppy it is see the boost gauge and uh they would be a better judge if the car is running better than i would i feel it is but i haven't driven the car much beforehand so yeah it'd be better if they drove it and uh gave their opinion so we'll see when they come over we'll see but i'm gonna end this video here man really cool that i did accomplish something with this car that's pretty awesome man and a huge shout out to speed addict 731 i did call him for a little bit of advice on these cars because he's owned an s197 gt500 in the past and uh he gave me a few ideas of what to check so big shout out to him for that i appreciate it but anyway i'm gonna get out of here man i got lots of other stuff to do so hope you like this video if you did hit a like button if you haven't subscribed please do so we'll see you on the next one